burn away the negativity to make room for positivity on this new moon. And it's windy, which is probably why I'm not doing my jar work outside. But I wanted to film this. Burn away the negativity to make room for positivity. As we will it, so shall it be. Welcome to my very first getting witchy with the Dollar Tree spell work type of thing. Uh, you'll see I've inserted a clip earlier. Uh, I wanted to do this outside, but it's way too windy. So I burned my negativity for the new moon to allow in the possibility of positivity. And then I came inside and tried to find a spot to do this. And here I am. Now, the first thing I did, this is going to be a, 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 all around, I have words, an all around uh, candle anointing, cleansing, purifying type of oil. And yes, I have been inspired by other videos to try this. Uh, what makes it Dollar Tree 99 cent store-ish is the ingredients. Yes, I opened up every single bag of tea in here and put them in there. Now, all of these items have many magical properties, but what they have in common is purifying, strength, luck, peace, money, you know, uh, all around good stuff, good stuff. Uh, the black pepper is definitely protection, 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 as is the sage. So I will add, and hope I don't sneeze, all the pepper because we all need it. All the sage, or as much of it as I can get. My goodness, this is packed in there. Just a second here. Actually, yeah, that's probably good because uh, I had let this all sit out under the new moon to uh, purify, absorb, do all the wonderful things. And while I was doing it, my coconut oil solidified. I'm in Arizona. I'm in the desert of Arizona. We don't get liquid. Uh, we don't get solid coconut oil. It's always liquid until like November, December. It's chilly outside for the desert in Arizona. So here we are. So I had to put it in boiling water to make this happen. So what I'm going to do is, again, one-handed here, is... Okay, so in this jar I have peppermint. Again, this is a dollar store tool type of video. So... Yeah, uh, you know, if you're low on ingredients or low on money, you don't have to go spend all the big bucks on things. Um, you can, you know, the tea has herbs in it. All the herbs you could possibly use. I mean, and if you know basically what they're for or, you know, have a smartphone and can Google it while you're in the store, there's so much magic, like, for a dollar out there. You know, you don't have to spend a lot of money. Same with my, co my oil. I could use all kinds of different oils, but I'm choosing coconut oil. And I got it at the Dollar Tree. Simple as that. Um, I probably should have mentioned beforehand, when you, if you're going to do this, you can charge your herbs with intent. I will admit I did that when I placed them outside under the new moon this evening. Uh, their charge, uh, the request that I had from them, was for protection, uh, for cleansing, uh, to reveal the magic within, to reveal the magic without, um, to have a blessed cycle. And uh, basically that was, I mean, it, what's in your heart is what's most important to begin with. So, I mean, they know. You don't even have to say the words. But I charged and basically let them know what it was that I wished to do. Now, apparently I'm going to have to. Oh, the plate, Dollar Tree. The jar, Dollar Tree. All these candles! Dollar Tree! Okay, let's see here. Okay, I got room for the other oil. Look at that. Basically, I'm going to have this sit on my altar. Oh, perfect! Those two little bottles. So, okay, just, uh, I know I'm all over the place. Okay, three dollars, four, five dollars, six dollars, seven dollars, and technically, I'm going to get a lot of use out of that sage. So, We'll call it six twenty-five, And, you know, I didn't have to buy the jar. I have jars. Jars are not a problem for me. But I saw the jar. I wanted the jar. I got the jar. You know, hashtag it's a witch thing, apparently. Okay. So I should reiterate 
And when you're, if you're going to do this, ooh, here I'm going with the Blair Witch business again. Uh, if you're going to do this, be sure that your intent is focused in on the herbs. You know, what it is that you're trying to accomplish. Uh, we're entering into a time of year where the veil is thinner. It's thinning as we head towards Samhain. Um, there's good stuff out there. There's bad stuff out there. There's bad stuff out there. I don't have to tell you what's going on in the world. Um, so, protection, 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 protection. And did I say protection? It's not just... <laughs> yeah, protection. Um, protection, you know, healing, magic. We are all magic. We all come from the goddess. I am really going on today, aren't I? Okay. And that, boys and girls, is it. Um, I will probably set this out under the new moon tomorrow night as well for the third phase. I didn't, dark moon I did my own magic. First night of the moon I charged everything. Second night of the new moon, I'll put it back under just to get the full effect. Um, and then it will sit up there by my Morgan on my altar. I love this space so much I really need to be doing more with it. Um, yeah, that's it. This is my first, I literally, literally, I've been walking this path forever. And this is my first, well, I'm making myself. Uh, I'm probably going to let it sit on my altar for at least a month. Yeah, that should work out till the next new moon. And then uh, I can start anointing candles and various things with it. So that's it. I'm going to try something here real quick. Um, because, you know, video. Oh. Yeah. Hi. This is also my big storage room, so I will. No, oh, I can't do it. So I'm just going to say right now, uh, blessed be, and uh, have a great new moon.